when we look deeper at the story, we realize that there might be many situations in our lives where we overhear a conversation. To focus on the positive aspect of that, I'd like to invite you to think about maybe something in your past where you overheard a conversation which had a positive effect. It's easy for us to remember stories where we overheard something that was not so pleasant. So we're not looking at that part at all, but we're looking at the positive aspect of overhearing something. So I'd like to give you a few seconds to set your intention for today's practice. Sankalpa. You can gently close your eyes if they weren't already closed. And then please give your breath a color. And this will help synchronize your breathing with your movements. Help you visualize the breath when you're flowing through your movement. And when you're in stillness, this colorful breath is something that we can use to heal our body. So breathing in a healing color and visualize that on each exhalation, we're letting go of tension, tightness, stress, anger, resentment, anything that does not positively impact or affect us. When you're ready, you can gently roll over onto all fours. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the cat and the cow stance, Bittalasana and Marjoriasana, rolling the palms so that they're flat, no cupcake hand, neither apart, hips over shoulders. You can have your shoulders underneath your wrists or at a slight angle. And we're just going to start with three cat and cows. So exhale, round your back. Inhale, open your chest. And the cat and the cow help synchronize the breath with the movement. And finally, you can tuck your toes, come into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Slowly lower your heels. Feel the hamstring stretches. And then you can walk or step to the front of your mat. Coming into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. You can also kind of roll your feet onto the mat. And if you can fret, spread your toes, great. If not, that's okay. Just kind of feel into the hamstrings, the stretches. I like to do one-legged pedaling while I'm standing and in this pose. And then finally, bending your knees. Let your head, arms, neck, and hands hang, unrolling vertebrae by vertebrae.
until you come to a samastiti standing pose. I invite you to take a deep breath here. And then inhale, exhale, bring your palms together. Keeping the elbows soft, not stretched out to the sides. Inhale, sweep your arms up to Tadasan, mountain. Exhale, fold forward again. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasan. Exhale to full Uttanasan. Inhale, take your right leg to high lunge. Hold your breath and take your left into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale to cobra, keeping the navel on the ground and the lower back safe. On your next exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips. And then when you're ready, on your next inhale, again, being mindful of your breath and bringing them together. Inhale, bring your right leg into warrior two. Circle your arms, bend your knees, sink into your hips. Back straight, chest open. Drishti is straight ahead. That's your gaze. and feel into your breath and the sensations that may arise on your thighs, your legs, and your arms. On your next exhale, back down. Inhale, take the right back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, straight away into Cobra, Bhujangasan. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukhaswanasan. And then on your next inhale, bring your left leg into Virabhadasan. Dua, right foot is flat. As you come up, circle your right arm, bringing the left up. Always check to make sure that your arms are in line with your shoulders. And then just breathe. On your next exhale, back down. Inhale, take your left leg to plank. Exhale, knee chest, chin. Inhale, straight into cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. And then on your next inhale, step the right leg into crescent. Anjane asan. So you can drop your left knee before or after. Sweep your arms up. Exhale back down. On the inside, take the right leg off to the right side. So we're transitioning from Anjane Asan to Uthan Pristasan, the lizard. Again, just observing sensations, textures against the skin. Breath into chest or belly, noticing, observing. And then if you feel like you want to change, go ahead and change that.
On your next inhale, straighten up your arms. Take your right hand on the outside of the right leg. Readjust and then straighten your leg. Keeping your knees soft. So transitioning to Artha Hanumanasan. Being a little gentle because you might feel it on the shin. You might feel it on the thigh. Each body being different will feel that stretch in different places. And I invite you to take a deep breath in and out. And then fold your right leg back on an inhale. Exhale, bring the chest and slide yourself into Cobra. Readjust your palms if you need to. And then on your next exhale, back to downward facing dog, holding for two breaths. On your next inhale, we're going to step the left leg into Anjane Asan. Lower your right knee. Sweep your arm up to crescent. You can keep the toe tucked or untucked at the back. If you find you're lifted up, see if you can sink down. Making sure that it's a, it's a comfortable stretch, not too intense. On your next exhale, transition into lizard, Uthan Prasthasana again. And notice how it may or may not impact your breath. Notice where your mind wanders off to in the moments of silence. And then on your next inhale, straighten your arms. Take the left leg back on the outside, readjust your left and straighten your leg. But always keep your knees soft, so that's micro bent. And then you can exhale, bring the chest close to the leg Arms can be flat, elbows slightly bent. And you're going to want to see how much of this is comfortable for you to do. Keeping in mind the intensity of the stretch. And so just being gentle. On your next inhale, fold the left leg back into a cat-cow stance. And then I invite you to open your knees, lower yourself into child's pose. Keep your arms stretched out or make your hands into a fist. Resting your forehead on the fist. And once you make yourself comfortable in Shashankasan, child's pose, I'd like to invite you to think of three things that you are grateful for. And why you're grateful for these things.
when you are done with your three gratitude thoughts, inhale, lift your head and chest up. Coming back into the cat and the cow stance. Exhale, lower your chest, bending your elbows. Inhale, slide into cobra. Now in cobra, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the locus. So inhale, just lift your legs. You can just softly point the toes. Okay, breathe. Feel your lower back muscles, strengthening them, releasing tension, holding for one more breath. And then exhale down. Tuck your toes coming into downward facing dog in the same breath, if you can. And then when you're ready, inhale, step your right leg forward to end. Exhale, left leg forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up to mountain. Tadasan, lengthen. Please do not pull the shoulders down. Come into Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Prayer position. Samastiti palms by your side. Taking a few seconds to notice whether we are actually in samastiti, which is equal balance. So does the weight equally distribute at the bottom of the feet or is there a tendency for one foot to take a little bit more pressure or weight? Check in with your body, your breathing and your thoughts. How does the body feel? How does the breath feel? Breathless, relaxed. And then finally, the thoughts. Are there a lot of thoughts? Some thoughts, no thoughts. And shake yourself out. Perfect. Good job. So what I'd like to do now is a balance which integrates Utkatasan, the chair pose, and we'll work on the knees and the ankles simultaneously and leaning slightly forward. So this is a pose that if you have challenges or issues related to your ankles and your knees, you can skip it and do the tree pose, Vrikshasana instead. How I like to typically get into these poses is to roll both the feet onto the floor, especially the main foot that I'm going to be balancing, to, balancing on. Bend the knees. And here you want to see if your knees are knocking into each other. You can always open, give a little bit of space so that the legs are open hip width. Take the left or the right, whichever you're planning to start with, and just place it on the thigh above the knee. Prayer position, lean forward and breathe. Drishti is a point on the ground. Smile into your balance. And release on your next inhale. Shake your leg out. Changing sides when you're ready. Okay, remember to always adjust so that you're comfortable and that there's no discomfort. Okay, cross. And if the other side is a little wobbly, bring the arms out to the sides to stabilize. Breathe. Breathe. 
and release. Perfect. Shaking the legs. Please have a seat. And we'll do the spinal twist or the Matsyandrasan, which is the myth that we're focused on and the contemplation and the reflection for this month. So I invite you to bring your left leg over your right. If you want to fold your right leg in, you can. I kind of feel like taking it a little easy and doing a variation. But when you're ready, inhale, lengthen your left, exhale, circle and place it behind. And you can continue to hold your shin, wrap your elbow around your thigh, keeping the back straight, and then take your left arm and wrap it behind your back. And this will ensure that your back is absolutely straight. There's no propensity of leaning into your arm. Gently closing your eyes, if you'd like, focusing inward, either on the pose, the contemplation of the pose, the various stretches you might be able to feel, and or your third eye, the Ajna Chakra. Release on an inhale. Straighten your body. Take your left leg. Stretch it out. Shake it if you need to. And then once again, we're going to bring the right leg over the left. Make sure the right foot is as flat as comfortably possible. Back is straight. Inhale, circle the right. Exhale, place it behind. When you feel ready, you can wrap. Toe is flexed at the front, back is straight, and then just wrap your arm around your back. And exhale, turn your head as much as you comfortably can. Notice where your mind may or may not have been and where your drishti or your internal gaze. And then on your next inhale, unwrap, swivel back to the center, stretch your leg out, shake it if you need to. I'd like to now invite you to sit for a few seconds in cross-legged seated position or Sukhasan, which is side by side. The legs are not crossed, but they're next to each other. The back is straight. <laughs> Eyes are gently closed. And I'd like to invite you to take three deep breaths in through the nostrils, exhale out from your mouth. And what this will do is it will just shift you from the, parasymp the sympathetic nervous system to operating from the parasympathetic nervous system. So three deep breaths, comfortable breaths, part your lips, exhale out from your mouth.
return to a breath that's natural, normal, and relaxed for you. Observing the next three breaths. And then I'd like to invite you to gently rub your palms together, making them warm. Cup them over your eyes, taking a second to reaffirm your sankalpa. Thanking your body for today's practice. Namaste. Namaste.